We are finally going to be upgrading the little rescued baby duck into a big, nice little duck pen. Oh yes, would you look at that? We have more tortoises. One of the longest necks of all turtle species. A little pinch of it right here, and we're just gonna sprinkle it right here. Woo! Take a look at that. And I'm gonna put the water right next to the door. And we're gonna put the food kind of right here next to the water. It is now time to put the baby duck in his new home in three, two, one. There. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, I am so excited to announce that we are finally going to be upgrading the little rescued baby duck into a big, nice little duck pen. I used to have a duck several years ago before I had my channel and unfortunately, one day at nighttime, he got killed by raccoons. So we still have that chicken coop, duck coop, whatever you wanna call it, in the back of the yard. We are actually going to be using that for the little baby rescued duck. But before we actually hop into today's video where we set this baby duck up, I have a couple of updates I want to give all of you on the newly hatched baby tortoises as well as some new turtles I have here at the house. Here are the baby tortoises and they are doing so well. So we actually had another little socata come out, but we're going to be moving them into here. These guys, yolk sacs, have not fully healed yet. You can see this guy still has a little one. This little guy right here is a little more healed up. He's gonna go right there, and then we have this little dude right here, which he should be pretty much healed up. But even though he's almost healed up, it's still real soft right there. So that's why we're gonna just keep him on here. I had paper towel in here, but they started to like eat it. I don't want him eating paper towel. So right now, while this yolk sac heals up, I'm just gonna keep him on just a regular bin that's moist because this is still soft and any piece of mulch could actually puncture that, and we don't want that to happen at all. And we have this little dude right here. He's pretty much entirely healed up, but still it is very soft right there, so we're gonna put them in here. Now, why are we putting them in there? Well, the reason why we're actually putting them inside of here is because we have to take this little bin right here, go inside, and get more tortoises out of the incubator. Oh yes, would you look at that? We have more tortoises that have emerged out of their eggs. So we got this little dude right here that just came out of this egg. Let's take a look at him right here. Let's see, and he's still got a big yolk sac. There you go, buddy. Let's kind of dust, dust you off just a little bit. We're gonna stick you right here in this bin. So one of the main reasons why we take him out is for this reason alone, just because we don't want him walking around on the other eggs. You see he still has a large yolk sac. We don't want any of these sharp little egg shards to actually rupture that yolk sac. So that's why we pretty much immediately take them out once they're out of their egg. This little guy right here is doing well. Still's got a nice little yolk sac. Hi there, little dude, how you doing? Look at these guys. I mean, these are just perfect sulcata tortoises. We've got the tortoises here. We gotta rinse them off. The other eggs are back in the incubator. We gotta open the door, come on. Okay. The baby tortoises are here. So these are the three that just came out. I decided to just put them on paper towel. It'll be a little bit less rough on their yolk sac. The other ones are in here. Oh, and he just flipped. Buddy, I'm gonna save you. Here you go. Try not to do that. So now that these guys are actually right here, I have got to show all of you the new animals that I've had for a couple of weeks here that I have not shown anybody yet, but here they are right here. We have some gorgeous snake neck turtles. We have one right there and the other right here. They are probably one of the coolest turtles out there. These guys are actually native to Australia. Let me show you them right now. They're really active right now. They're absolutely amazing. Look at them. So the reason why they call them snake neck turtles is obviously because they have a super long neck. One of the longest necks of all turtle species. And when he was born, he was black, but he's getting a little bit bigger now and he is getting a nice light colored shell. But you can see he's just trying to just get out of my fingers. There you go, buddy. There you go right there, but then this one right here is a little more calm. So when you pick this guy up, he actually tucks his neck in. So when they tuck their neck in, since it's just so long, they actually tuck it in sideways. He could his shell right there. And we actually need a name for them. Stop what you're doing and go comment down below a name for these little snake neck turtles. I need a name, so go comment down below a boy name and a girl name for them. But now it is time to feed them. So we've got right here, we've got some Zoomed Aquatic Turtle Food. So this is the hatchling formula for small turtles that are, you know, about two inches long. And we're just gonna take a little pinch of it right here and we're just gonna sprinkle it right here. Now when it comes to eating, these turtles are quite shy, so they really will not eat in front of me, but let's get this guy in the water so he can get some food. We're gonna walk away. Here you go, buddy, get in there. Let's get him a little more food. There you go. 
And now that all of you got to see the new snake neck turtles that I have, as well as setting up the baby tortoises, let's go set up this baby duck in his new home. I'm out here in the yard now, and I'm headed over here to get the duck coop. Now, like I was saying earlier, I used to have a pet duck. His name was Jimmy, and he was a white crested duck. Now, unfortunately, he got killed by raccoons way before I had my YouTube channel back in 2017. I've only been doing YouTube since 2019. So about two years ago, or three years ago now, he passed away. But here it is, right here is the duck coop. It does have a little wear and tear because obviously we've had this thing for like three years, but it's been pretty much out of commission for a while now. So we've got the roof ripped off there so we can actually get some sun for him. I did that a long time ago and I actually kept some tortoises in here. And then there's a little storage area right in here. I mean, like I said, this thing is not in the best of condition, but it will surely work for this baby duck. All right, I'm gonna have to drag this right here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna need both hands. So I'll be back with all of you in a second. One minute, 37 seconds later. Woo! Take a look at that. We've got the duck coop entirely in place. And what I like best about this for the duck is it has this area right here. This is a nice shaded area. And in the future, I can actually build a ramp. This used to have a ramp, but I don't have it anymore. And basically, the ramp would go there, and the duck can crawl in there at nighttime. But look at this. It's got a nice area right here where he can come out and sunbathe, but then he can go inside of the shade when it's too hot. So now what we have to do is I'm going to run inside and get this baby duck. Here you go, baby duck. Hey, hi, what are you doing, crazy? What are you doing, little guy? So this one has actually gotten some more patterns in the past week. It didn't have as many spots, and they're just kind of coming out. Oh, you just want to waddle around? Oh, look how cute you are. Look, 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 we gotta go this way. Come on, come here, come here. This little one did not want to come this way, but look, this right here is your new home. How do you like it? But before we actually put this little guy in his new home, we've gotta put him right over here. We gotta put her, him or her, I'm not entirely sure this, we gotta put you in the water. There you go, little one, here. You enjoy that water while I get your new home set up. This right here is the two essentials for this little baby duck. So this right here is a water dish, so we're gonna come right here, and this water is nice and clean. We're just gonna take a nice little scoop of water. You know, we want this little guy to stay nice and hydrated. And now we've got to unlock this. We're gonna go, boop, and one more. Oh, that's already open, perfect. We're just gonna put that right there, and I'm gonna put the water right next to the door. So it's nice and easy access for me whenever I need to actually change the water. Now as far as the food goes, I actually like to put the food on the ground. In the wild, the ducks are not gonna have a dish for food. They're gonna be foraging the ground. So, so when you actually put the food on the ground, this little guy right here is gonna learn to forage around in the ground. Look at you, little guy. You're doing so well on your swim lesson. Now we have to pick a name for the little baby duck. Oh my gosh, are you trying? Whoa, he's trying to get out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, little one? You can't get out. I wanna give a special shout out to Danielle Woods for picking the name Daisy. This is a great name for this little duck and I absolutely love it. So Danielle, thank you for picking the name Daisy. Anyone else that picked the name Daisy, thank you so much. If you participated, I just wanna say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart because I love all of your guys' support. Now it is time to finally introduce the baby duck into his new home. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you, wh why are you going crazy? What are you doing? Relax. It is now time to put the baby duck in his new home in three, two, one, there you go, little one here. Have a good time. And we also have to give some food. So we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of food in there. Again, we're gonna put the food kind of right here next to the water. He'll be able to smell that food and be able to forage. So we're just gonna put, you know, a nice generous amount of food just like that. And again, we are not going to be leaving this duck in here overnight. Overnight, there could be predators. So every morning, we'll bring them out to come out here. But at nighttime, when the raccoons and other predators are out, we're gonna have to bring him in because we do not want him to get attacked. But just look at this. We're gonna close it up right now so he can have his time in there. We've got the duck food, we've got the water, and we're just gonna close it up. Now this little guy is going to need some time to adjust in here but look he's just loving it he doesn't know what to expect but this right here is an absolute duck mansion and I've actually decided to give this little guy a pool that he can easily get in and out of so we're just gonna take a nice scoop right there of water and we're just gonna place it in right here over the roof that way he can practice his swimming skills when we're not here let's place this down right here and there we go look at that the little duck has a awesome new home he's got some food and water, and he also has a nice little pool that he can kind of waddle around in. Look at you, guy. How do you like your new home? I'm so glad you like it. What are you quacking for? Who are you quacking for, buddy? Guys, I want you to stop what you're doing and go comment down below what you think of this new duck mansion. Now, this guy is going to be kind of squacking. He is going to need a little bit of time to get used to his home. But that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching us remove more tortoises from the incubator, see my new snake neck turtles, and most of all, set the little baby duck up in his new dream home. If you guys enjoyed today, 
today's video, please go give it a thumbs up and make sure to go comment down below what you thought of this crazy video. And if you guys are not subscribed already and you enjoy the content on the channel, well, what are you waiting for? Go right down below and hit the subscribe button.